love of humanity, love of uh, equality, brotherhood, peace. So Navo is just like an old man or old lady sitting and talking about love. Because in her or in his feelings now there is nothing physical involved. It's, the, it's only the beauty, the sacrifice and uh, and the giving without expecting anything to receive of love that is Vindava. So as I said, it's a combination. It's nothing new. In other words, it has no special uh, note to make it different. You use the same note that you use for sure or for Afshari or Abu Atta. But the way you perform it, that is the significant, the way you perform it is not sure, it's not Afshari, it's Nawa. It's totally different. I mean, from the beginning you know what it is. So these are the things in Persian music that cannot be read about, cannot be learned through books. Or even to those who do not have such feelings. Have, there are lots of persons who do not know what I'm talking about. I mean, this is my own, because I tried to teach. I tried many ways. No success. So I eventually ended up brought it back to life because everything has to be practical it has to do with life you know it's uh, it's not poetry that it's your imagination no your imagination is a part of it but it has something to do with, with this earth with this land with this with the people around us so now as I said is the is this is this an old man or a lady sitting talking about the past of course normally again based on Persian mystical life or mystical thinking. Uh, it's only the good points. And if it, if it is sad, the sad story is mentioned in a way that, uh, that gives you some kind of pleasure. It may bring tears to your eyes, but it's not the tears that you, that you see when somebody is doing dashti. Somebody was fed in love. It's, it's, it's tears of enjoyment. The tears. I was uh, in uh, this state up north, uh, Minnesota, Minneapolis. We had a concert there. And the gentleman who had invited us had a radio Persian program, two hours. So in the, in the morning, there was an interview with me. And there I played Afshari. I don't know why I played that, but I did anyway. So in the evening, we were coming to the university where we had our concert. It was very cold, and uh, there was an old lady, uh, this man's secretary, had the key to the area that we were supposed to go. And she saw this lady, talked to somebody, then she called me and said she wanted to see me. She had heard my music the same morning and I decided to come to see me and she said that before this morning she said I was scared of, of crying. I thought crying is no good. Crying is weakness. I think that. She said this morning I was listening to your music and what you explained about that music. All of a sudden I noticed that I was happy but I was crying also. It was a, a, quite a different type of crying. And I wish I could, I, would, I could cry like that all my life. And he wanted to thank me because I solved a problem. From now on, she's not going to be ashamed if she cried. So this is what I'm talking about. I mean, this is the uh, kind of satisfaction. It's a, it's a crying that satisfies you and puts it, a full stop on the story. And now you can keep on going and living. It's not the type of crying that uh, because there are no tears anymore or, or something has come up or you have to eat or go and meet somebody and they'll start crying again. This is, this is, a, uh, this is an answer for the problems, what, what might be the problem of the person. So that, 
and spoke about Nebo. And the seventh one is Ras Panjgo, which is a combination of other of, of, of the other four Daska. And I think it has been established, organized, because it shows you how to improvise. It gives you an example. Because as I told you, you have five Daska. There are some Gushe in Sega and some so I could later on I'll explain what other that's called signify or mean anyway. Segal, for example, is you talk about the good times that you had in regard to that law. Remember that you were in the garden, you know, full of blowns, you know, friends came, lots of music, lots of wine. It's only to talk about the good side of of that law. That is Sigal. So in Ras Panjigo, and sure is the story of the sad part of the love, especially, for example, in Dashti or in Aguato. In Ras Panjigo, a Gushe from Sigal has come with the Gushe from Dashti together. But the important is it, how can you put them together? So it sounds, it's, that's why most people do not even talk about Ras Panjigo. Or even never. It's because they don't know the philosophy behind it in the first place. And it's only when you get old enough, old enough to forget about the um, the problem of life. I mean, you're in peace with yourself and your God. You know, you just live to to enjoy what God has given you, not sit and cry what God has not give you, given you. You think positively of life. And everything is beautiful. You just think of love, of brotherhood, and sharing, and things like that. So, this Ras Panjgo has been is an example how we can put those contradicting, I can say, push out together and without hurting you. you. Enjoy listening, but when you want to perform it. That's a different thing. So, t throughout the years, for the last 30, 40 years, maybe I've had not even more than 10 performances of Red Spanish Girl, and not maybe more than 30 of Naval. Mostly of Dashti and of Abu Ghato and of Isfahan. There are plenty of them. Because these are. Um, Actually, you get involved with music with your first love when you're younger and you're in love 